Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. Alright. What are we doing? Stumbled on show tickets to a new theatric. Should stop by and watch. Demi is bored of his books and looking for something more exciting to read. Kenley lost her teddy bear. Can't find him anywhere. Who will listen to her troubles now? Kel's pet rock hecked fell out of his pocket. <laughs> I'm thinking, maybe I had to go somewhere important in a rush, but where do you have gone? Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. For real, real. There we go. I've totally forgotten uh, whence I am. A single block of tofu. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I've somewhat forgot where I'm going. But it should be fine. Da pals. Mm hmm. Okay. I still feel as though there is something that we're not getting here. Possibly have to switch, but who knows. Let's try this one. Cat ears. Cat like reflexes. You know, like. Yeah. Hell yeah. You couldn't possibly be depressed with cat ears on. You can. I have. Let's try you, big boy. Here's a fruit of spider. Oh, a spider plant. Potted plant. And bug bunny. Yeah. Let's see if Hero can follow up like this. I forget if he can or not. Okay, he can. Okay, so it is a it's a big debuff, but it's not like Actually. Just stab him a whole bunch. You know? It's a pretty slow enemy by the looks of it. Hmm, it's a little bit tough. <laughs> the hell? Hey, we were victorious, though. And we got the XP. A present. Oh my god! <laughs> um... Rare Bear. This is, uh, this is something... Ooh, this is, a uh, quite the startup. Alright. Well, he's dead. Nice. Hell yeah. You can do it! Alright. Chocolate? Oh, it's baking chocolate. Hmm. 
Let's have you revivify this boy. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. Heart is... We might see the game over here. Might be interesting. Actually, what if we just let him hit us and see the game over? Since I've yet to see what that looks like. And then I'll come back in having not misplayed. Won't that be fun? I really didn't think that um, this would be like a secret super boss, you know? Nice. Maybe we should come back from it, huh? Crap. Oh, it was a dull attack. Interesting. Omori doesn't become toast, he blacks out. Oh, we start right back from here. All right. Interesting. So that probably says something. I wonder if Sonny has the same thing happen to him. One moment, everyone. So I went back to it and uh, turned this on and it did this. Hello, stranger. I am mushed. My lifelong dream has always been to be eaten and enjoyed. <laughs> Will you grant my wish and eat me? Thank you, stranger. You don't know how grateful I am. You got mush. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh, what a handsome fella. Wah! Oofacus. I'm getting that dropping his attack is probably a really good idea. Okay. I should have seen that coming. I really should have seen that coming. Now, uh, Hero's just gonna get got. Hey, Omori got a cookie, though. So that's nice. Uh, you're not too... strong. So you do that. regular attack, I guess. Oof. Attack can't go any lower. So he's as weak as he will be. Let's go, Aubrey. And she does a little heal. Yeah.
Let's see if he can heal himself. The bear's a little quick is the is, is a problem. I could have tripped him to reduce his uh, his power. This is the kind of fight that I wanted, though. I was really juiced to get a fight where I was going to be, like, able to constantly use the bar. She doesn't have a lot of attacks of her own, I'm noticing. Oof. All right, getting the bar back. Um, hmm. He's fast, so let's... Let's give you... A healthy stick of grain. Let's try that, huh? And then you just regular attack. Ah! Shit. Hit him again. This would probably be a really great job to uh, reduce his uh, speed, huh? Whatever. He's almost dead. We can probably just finish him off right now. That is a fast bear, though. Hey, Kale leveled up. Still afraid of drowning. Let's go get a free fill up instead of doing any of that, huh? Also, we get to hear the jingle. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Bear's back. Pardon me, sir. The heck is this thing? It's kind of slimy. It smells like bad apples. It's more forced than this out of the lump. So come on, Aubrey. Smash the smithereens. You asking me for help, Kel? How rare. Step aside. I'll show you how it's done. I'm going to give the strange lump all I've got. Which means that it won't work. Well, this is embarrassing. I guess we should find another way past this thing. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Oh, and Aubrey's now the party leader. Oh, right. Let's try the bear again. Right. Wow, that's an instant kill. Don't know. I guess just hit him. And you pick up Aubrey. He took it though. Attack can't go any lower. Okay, good. And then you cook. Uh, I guess for Aubrey. Oh crap! Trip him.
Oh, he's sad now. Interesting. Did it always do that, or am I rather inept? Spend it. We're now going before the rare bear as well. Because he's, um, he can't get sadder. Oh, does Strip only make him sad, or does it reduce his speed as well? I no longer remember. Aubrey's ecstatic. Wowzers! Ecstat? So you can have differing rates of happiness. Interesting. Very interesting, in fact. Uh, get Aubrey up, I guess. Nice. The mechanic of sad enemies being able to essentially use their mana bar as a shield is kind of rad. The little munch sound is so cute, too. He's angry again. Which means he's back to taking damage. And I'm dry. Um. Cool. Nice. Soundtrack still slaps. Oh my god. Hero, what you doing, man? We can probably finish this guy out now-ish, right? Oh, does Hero need a new trinket? Does he need a new item to help his um, defense go up? That might be the case. Yeah, just hit him. So last time, I noticed that um, if Omori dies, then the entire party gets a game over. Oh, I bet if we get the, the minecart to run through here, we could bash through this. Which means I killed that bear for nothing. Um, there have been a few games where that's the case, where... Let's talk to Mari. Nothing, huh? Hello there, Aubrey. Looking cute today. You take such good care of your hair. Interesting. So she has her own lines as well. Okay. So let's see if we can't... Nope. Not today, sirs. Thank you very much. Did we ever go over here? Yes, we did. You were the one who needed your teddy bear. I guess that means that this takes place in America, huh? Little known fact, teddy bear is actually named after Theodore Roosevelt. Okay, so what exactly did this thing run into? I've forgotten. It's fine here. Fine here. What did it run into? Is it this little break in the track? Railroad track is missing a segment. Ah. Okay. So we've got to get the railroad track back. Let's see what happens if we do one of these. Looks like a job for Omori. It certainly does. <laughs> I 
and it comes for us regardless of where we are. It's just a time-based thing. Interesting. That was a misplay. There's the railroad track. All right, I'm going to try to get it. Look at this. I was right next to it. I was right next to it. Uh, can you do it? I wonder if you can. I'm going to try again. All right. I did another one that got super close. I'm going to give up on it for now. But only for now. Pardon me, sirs. I'm kind of wondering if I should have like a big grind sesh. Um, in the video game, off. Oh! Interesting, you just hit A. Yeah! Okay, that one you can do. Radical. Oh, I'm so smart. A wooden track. There's two. Or possibly more that I haven't seen yet. Well, okay. Well, let's do a little savey sue. Um, anyway, in the game off, they kind of encourage you to grind. You can blow through the game at like a really... Comparatively low level. Hmm. Interesting. So in off, you can blow through the game at a comparatively low level as long as you know what you're doing. Because the max level in that game is 50 five, zero. But you can usually easily beat it at 15-1-5. Um, but one of the things about the game is that you keep getting levels and things at those level ups all the way until 50. So you'll never complete the batter until the batter is the main character of off. You'll never complete the game off properly until you, you know, can do that. Whoops. Like, there's a whole element in the game you'll never actually see or play with. I'm going to pause it here, though. Hey, we did it. Hey, all right. Uh, while we're here, let's see if Hero's equipment is slacking. He's still got just a regular spatch. The charm bracelet gives him one defense. Mmm. Two noculars. Noculars X2. So that would give him speed, which is pretty slow. That gives him more defense and heart. This gives him less defense, but more heart. Okay, let's stick him with that. What's this over here, then? Pardon me, Mr. Sproutmole. A berry smoothie. Oh, God. Gobble? I'm pretty sure I fought this guy, didn't I? Oh, he's a sad boy. Luckily, they should go a little quicker since... Uh, Hero has... Uh, Hero's not afraid. <laughs> yeah. We'll blow through this poor guy. Sorry, Mrs. Sproutmole. Tofu. Neat. Pardon me. Thank you. Okay. So let's see if this one is doable. Because this one might be doable and I just quit too early. Because I didn't know... Crap. Oh, well, just look at that. Lemon squeezy, even. 
And you were the guy who wanted some more Beelocks. Intriguing. I was recently reading through the 5th uh, edition Dungeons & Dragons Player's Handbook because I don't have anything else to do. Um, I was going with my friend to the vet. Uh, my cats were sick. They're fine now. They have medicine, so don't worry about them. They're good little boys. And then, yeah, so there are three. Pardon me? Um, all my cats have anxiety disorders, so, you know. Sometimes they just need a little checkup. And I think I got everything from here, so that's good. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans, even. So let's see if we can't, uh, push that cot. Anyway, um, so I was with one of my friends getting our cats checked out. They have you wait in your car while they check the cats because of COVID. Um, and they had a, a copy of the fifth edition's Dungeons and Dragons player's handbook in their car. Oh God. I got wiped the hell out. Okay. Oh, the good news is, is that now I'm up here though. Okay. Instead of having to ride all the way back. Did I save? Better save. Did I get this one? I've forgotten. I'm pretty sure I got it. Well, now I gotta do it again to check. God damn myself. Anyway. Player's Handbook has an interesting thing to note. They're like, it is better that you're like, my character has read every book in can- <laughs> Read every book in Candledeep. You know, it's better to say that than say, I'm smart, you know? It's a way to make your character more interesting. Yep, I already lost. The thing with doing this with arrow keys is that it's not like doing it with a joystick. You have to release the key. I'm the best. <laughs> Such a loser. It's like, yeah, I'm beating this children's video game. I mean, it's not for children, but. All right. I skipped the run because I was like, eh. But we should be doing it now. We do it. All right. Oh, we're gathering speed. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, wow. Firefly Forest is beautiful. Even with all the steam. Cool. Is this going to be, uh, what's her name? Sweetheart's Castle? Nice. Now, if I know one thing about RPGs, Mari should be... Oh, not Mari. Well, there's Mari, in fact. But there's Pluto. Bezel, you here? Bezel, where are you? Oh, he's so he's so worried. Doesn't look like he's here either. Look, it's Mari. Mari, Mari. Hello, everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mari, I was so scared. Aw, they're cuties. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> get him. Get him. Just get him. This isn't a real knife, by the way. This is a prop knife. It's on my desk because of a thing that I'm filming for later. 
It's times I wish Basil was here. He could tell here about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. They are. They're carnivores. Maybe we wouldn't find them so creepy. Not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, hero. You're gonna have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> Let's have a picnic. Four is a lot scarier than the one near the playground. And a lot older, too. It does have a mysterious air about it, doesn't it? I heard there used to be a huge library filled with books here. But since no one took care of it, over time, it slowly sank into the ground. I told you that, Mari. Oh, some shadows here and there. If you focused, you could see him too. You could see him too. Whatever, reading's boring. Who wants to read anyway? Where's this library now, Mari? Her eyes get all sparkly, it's cute. If I were to guess, I'd say it'd be right beneath us. Like underground? Yeah, somewhere around here, probably. So that also plays into the idea of... Um... Six to eight nachos. <laughs> that also plays into my idea of... Do you want to wait here for Pluto? Sure. Is everyone strapped in? I'm not ready yet. I love seeing that on the waveform. Uh, that could hold some credence to the idea of... Never mind. <laughs> Perfect. Um, does this game have a good ending and bad ending? Ah, oh. I mean, maybe it does. Is the bad ending you play as Omori and you kill Mari, thus banishing Sunny's ideas about her? If we assume that Omori is like Sunny's guilt or something. Or, and is the good ending... Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna get is the good ending you play as Sunny and you kill Omori, thus Sunny destroys his own guilt and reconciles with himself? Because that's kind of the plot of Silent Hill 2. Kind of. Ooh, we're getting the fear zone. What is that? Oh my god. Oh. But we're not actually afraid of it. King Crawler. Aubrey. Jesus, this noise, man. Kel, do a normal attack. And you do a normal attack. You passed to Aubrey, making her angry. Or no, that's not how it works. Whatever, that's fine. Aubrey has to pass to... Hell, a sprout mole appears. Oh, there he is. I mean, let's get rid of the ads. Let's keep with normal attacks. Okay. <laughs> Imagine being so charming that even bugs fall to you. Oh my god! They had like a combination attack. 
King Crawler. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I uh, I see what we're working with now. Let's get a little snack going, huh? Uh, 35 heart doll friends. That's pretty good. Jesus. It whiffed, huh? But he got it. Okay. So, uh, this is becoming, uh, what looks to be a, uh, DPS race, huh? All right. Let's conserve those this round. Let's trip him. Speed falls and it's sad. Okay, cool. And then she looks at Kel. Making her angry. Which means that she can get the bonus for her... Oh, their attack goes. And they both feel angry now. Interesting. I don't think it always used to do that. I used that a couple of times. Which means that now... You can get the damage bonus. Who did he hit? Um... I guess just normal attack, huh? Um, losing juice. Hopefully that'll make it so he cannot summon his buddies, his little sprout moles. Yeah. Wow. That's some big damage right there. Okay. We're live? We're live. I just noticed! It's it's body. It's look at the it's all sprout moles. Even the head, it's all sprout moles. What the Bro <laughs> What the fuck, man? Alright, he's dry. So let's work on King Crawler. Uh let's actually have you rebound for all of them. And let's have you do as... Uh, yeah. Double tap him. Get him. Bro, this, this fight is... This is a little closer to what I expected. So I wonder if damaging the Sprout Mole will allow me to... Will make it so that the Crawler can't get more health off of him. Ooh, that's unfortunate. She doesn't get the fries, no. <laughs> Sorry, bro. We got fries without you, but you were dead. He's angry. He eats a sprout mole. How much does he get back from that? 270, Jesus. And he's happy now. Okay, but he's not... Amori, you pick up our good friend... Um, just normal attack him because he's still angry. Normal attack him, I guess. And then I'll save this. I'll 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 I'll, I'll not send this. Eef. Right, this is going to be one for a lot of double taps. 
death or glory, you know? Bring it in again. Nice. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> Sprout mole masks and tofu. No more he leveled up. Ooh. Learn fast food. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, boy. Is no one going to comment on that? Um, hello? Wow. Sprout Mole Village. <laughs> it's so pleasant. Oh, it's Mari. Sprout Mole is such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. They really love tofu. Bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Yeah, I would like to eat some juicy tomatoes. Feel like new. Alright, then let's save after that. Yes, I would. Sprammel Village. Still three days left. Sweetheart merch. Sweethearts. Quest for hearts. Riveting, sweetheart. How many stars is that? That's six out of five stars from Sweetheart. Sweetheart presents Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Riveting from Sweetheart. Six stars by Sweetheart. A Sweetheart production for Sweetheart by Sweetheart. Hello, young looking, strange looking sprout moles. Here to see Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Come to the right place. Soul Out Extravaganza Spectacular will be starting shortly. Wait a second, I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. Can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting, but it doesn't seem like the right time. We promised we could earlier. Please, Sarah, we should at least check it out. Please, please, please. <laughs> oh. oh, I love every character. All right. Hopefully this won't take too long. 13 hours later. Of course, Mrs. Spratmole, sir. We have our tickets right here. Here you go, Mr. Sproutmole. Oh my, I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You all must have made some great sacrifices. We killed a guy for these. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At second glance, you were four of the most normal looking Sproutmoles I have ever seen. Enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking Sproutmoles. Nice. Ooh. Pretty fancy. Oh my god, is this going to be the Final Fantasy... What is it? Final Fantasy 3? And or Final Fantasy 6? Uh, opera scene? Is that in 4? Shit. Look at that huge stage. It's as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like it's about to start. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm ready to take my seat. My hands are off this keyboard. I'm fiddling with the cap of my camera, though, so. Sprout Mole Mike. <laughs> Ladies and gentle moles, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye Old Sprout. Didn't we kill that guy? I think we killed that guy. He was truly the father none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. Oops. May he rest in peace. And now onto the show. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ooh. Last time at Sweetheart's Quest for Heart, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Contestant Nogu. <laughs> He's a ball! 
sprawl, guys. He's a little sprout. Uh, he's a local little sprout bowl village. Coming at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Get him for contestant number one. We got front row tickets for this. We killed a guy for front row tickets for this. Important to not forget that fact. We killed a man for these tickets. Let's be honest with ourselves here. We killed for these. You guessed it. Also a local of Sproutmo Village. He's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. Hobbies include rocking, running, and crawling. Okay. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. <laughs> this game is sending me, man. Sending you where? Shut up. And now for something completely different. All the way from the other world. Oh, it's like he fell out of the sky literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Get up for Snily. Snaily. <laughs> oh, poor Snaily. The moment you all waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pulchritudinous face. Ooh, good word. Yes. You know who we're talking about. She's all that amazing. She's all that is amazing and wonderful. She's about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent, sweetheart. I think it's getting good, guys. Bro. Oh no, there's a blackout. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. So what did I, I'm sure they'll get the power back on in no time. Help, we don't know what to do. Help, we don't know what to do either. Help, 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 help. Help. Well, maybe we should look around just in case. I hate this, because now I'm invested in it. Actually, let's try to head out, see if that's the way forward. It's the blackout affected all Sprout Mode Village. Hero, what do we do now? Don't worry, this is where our handyman expertise comes into play. Kids like this, we should be looking for some kind of backup generator. What you got to say, Mulman? Nothing. Hi, Murray. Nothing new. What about you, Sproutman? Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. I feel like I probably should have explored this area before. I hate Mondays. Sprout moles do not dare leave the colony ever since the Great Move. Hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles getting lost left and right. Children are separated from their families. The horror. And it's all okay now for the most part. Hey, you there. You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the Sprout Mole colony in Otherworld. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. I would deliver it for you. Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Here you go. A chair package. Make sure it gets to him safely. Down to down, down, down to down, down. <laughs> What's going on, man? Dunsmal. Wall is nice and cold. Look at the cool thing I drew. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's, it's cool. <laughs> oh, I think I believe that's called a stussy. Everyone I knew growing up called it an S thing, but I met a guy when I was in college and he referred to it as such. And it just makes so much sense to call that thing a Stussy. Omori looks at the camera. I think we'll all still be friends when we graduate. I don't know, ask your dad. Despite all my rage, I am still just a mole in a cage. I have no idea what I'm doing. Such a gripping and political intelligent comment. Occupied room. Cannot be disturbed. No humans allowed. It's a room for sprout moles only. Why aren't all rooms? We are two. We are one. We are twan? 
says Double Mole. Sue Chef Mole, how dare you speak about blasphemy? It is common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with knows that tofu is better served cold. No reason to fight. Why don't you come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or you can cook co tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere in between hot and cold, like, I don't know, lukewarm? Ew. Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu, I want to hoe up. Even hot tofu is better than that. Yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feats in sliced bread. Tofu. Sure. C'est magnifique. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. There are four kinds of tofu. Firm, extra firm, soft, and silken. I like silken. If you wish to know, to more about, uh, to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, talk to me again. Ho ho. Since tofu is high in soy content, it is not good for you if you have kidney stones. Lord knows I love soy. I gotta have more tofu. It's so expensive and there's not like an Asian market or anything near me. So like I have to go out of my way to get tofu. Never hurts to have tofu on you at all times. Got uh, plenty of sticky situation with tofu. Tofu jash. Hello, sir or madam. Would you be interested in purchasing a fine tofu? It will cost you one clam. Shit, man. Look at me. I am the, truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? It's so strange because this game feels so classic while Undertale does not. Um, which isn't to say that Undertale isn't good. Bird mole. Squawk. Okay. Oh, God. Swish, swish, swish. Dirty laundry. Ah, so maybe rolling around in dirty laundry is more common than I suspected for the spout molds. Why couldn't the bicentil stand up by itself? It was too tired. <laughs> Excellent. You recorded the joke in your joke book. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Sport mole, not sprout mole. Um, Undertale seems modern. Despite the um, pixel graphics, Undertale still feels very modern. Whereas this feels very SNES. Maybe snowing outside, but winter's time for friends and family. Cooking next to warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on hot cocoa. Most importantly, taking a breather after a long year. Winter's the best season, don't you agree? Your agreement brings you great joy. Have this gift. Which is the best season the season of giving? A scarf. Ah, oh, damn. I like all the seasons, personally. Gra, the humble boat of Rosa. Gra, gra, the number one sweetheart fan. Of the I think you've got competition, mate. All right, well, bye. Freak. Let's take a look at that scarf. Because all this is doing for her is uh, luck, right? Uh, ooh, defense. Pack that in, huh? Sprout moles are intel while intelligent are also obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self-control. <laughs> oh man, this game's a this game is a cut up, dude. Christmas is my favorite time of year, so why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? Oh my god, a present! Christmas is ruined. I have never ruined or saved Christmas, but I would love to do either. So hard to get a good night's sleep lately. If only I had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. And then I think this one has the more... Yeah, it does. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make haste. We're trying our best, Warden. It's about as fast as we can go. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Yeah. Very good. 
Master men, we must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a brighter tomorrow. Faster men. Okay. Huff. 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 Ah, this wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in? Sure. What I say, moles? Hard work pays off. I keep running. Want to exercise with your friends? Sure. <laughs> wow, look at Cal busting it. Oh, I hear I got tired. Well, Mori and Aubrey know to pace themselves, at least. If I wait for long enough, will the rest get tired? Holy shit, they're really going, huh? <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the, where the power that's where the magic happens, huh? see what the description of that present I got was. It's not what you wanted. Inflicts anger. <laughs> Cute. Alright, not here. I love the, the Denny air of like, we're underground. You can tell because there's a dinosaur over there. Someone please help me. I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. You, yes. You there in the striped pants, you magnificent beast. Yes, oh, you look like you'll do just fine. Well, thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out a poor, lowly mole? I'm desperately in need of your service. Since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Like this? No. Thank you, thank you, young lad. You're too generous. Come this way now. Chop, chop. Hold on. Can my friends come? Ah, your friends. Here to see Sweetheart's Quest. If so, you will meet again soon enough. We must make haste. Time is short. Oh, I'm ready. Coming from the Pastel Vomit Room, Hero! Greetings, sweetheart fans. Apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> During the break, we regret to inform you a tragic accident has occurred in this very ring. <laughs> I'm at a funeral. I have to. I shouldn't laugh. <clears throat> so this time we announced the loss to contestant three. We remember him fondly for the few seconds we got to know him. He was a unique and irreplaceable soul. Here's his replacement. The show must go on. Give a warm welcome to our new contestant three, all the way from Vast Forest, Hero in Shining Armor. Oh, he's bashful. <laughs> Get this, guys. Here's a real hunk standing at a whopping s five foot seven. Passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. If that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. Let's get trying to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pokertudinous face. You know who we're talking about? Just all that is amazing and wonderful. She's about to set foot on the very stage. She's the one, the only, the magnificent. Oh! <laughs> of course she has the Ojo laugh. <laughs> An 
excellent entrance, my liege. Ah, yes, it is me. Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. <laughs> stupid, adoring fans. We love you, sweetheart. Yeah, you're the best. I love how it's coming out of the box here. Sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto the stage. Today be the day one of them steals your heart. Let's start with some questions. One thing Sweetheart values in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant one, agree to pledge allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? What's your answer, number one? Uh, sure, I don't know, I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about the response, sweetheart? Just three feet tall? That is much too short. Send him off. To the dungeon. What did you say? The dungeon? <laughs> oh, God. Help me! Jesus Christ. He's fucking dead. That's number two. Same question. No right or wrong answer. Just answer truthfully. You pledge allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life. Well, uh, sure. It means I won't consent to the dungeon. My word, this one. This very being offends me. Take him away, boys. <laughs> Three, it looks like you're the last one standing. Uh, same question, one more. No pressure. You pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why do I do that? My, this one. He's immaculate. Could it be? Is it is Sweetheart in love? What an exciting turn of events! This must be fate. A match made in heaven. I just said... Ah, uh, yes, yes. You'll do just fine. What's your name again? Huh? It's, uh, it's Hero, ma'am. Hero. My hero. We must go to my chambers at once. Urgh. Guards, I've chosen my suitor. Take him away. To my dungeons. Guys, please do something. Whoa. Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. Ken, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, you're useless. Hero, you have to reject Sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. Oh! I don't think she's going to listen to me. Just do it already. Okay, I'll try. Fixing my shirt there. Excuse me, Sweetheart, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Wow, haha, <laughs> it's so nice of you. I mean... Why do I have to do this? Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why, whatever do you mean, my prince? I, uh, it's not really flattering at all, but... You know, we only just met, like, a few moments ago, and, well... I have to reject your, uh, offer? Oh, pish posh. Don't be silly, silly hero. I've never heard anything sillier. I it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... I don't want to marry you. <laughs> that... That is a deafening silence. This... This is preposterous! I apologize for not having a pop filter. My plosive words are endangering. No, this this is blasphemy. You dare reject sweetheart? Everyone loves sweetheart, and you hear me, everyone. Send him to the dungeon. Hey, stop right there! Can't take hero. He already belongs to us. We own him. What's this now? What a what is a non sweetheart fan doing in the audience? I see. It must be heroes fans. Nerve you lot! First you make a fool out of me, then you interrupt me during my own show. I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away. 
Now you've done it, Aubrey. Go time. Or prison escape sequence. Well, oh man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry guys, it's my fault we're in this mess. No, it's not Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. <laughs> Mustache mole. <laughs> you fools! Don't you recognize me? It's me, Rosa. Number one sweetheart friend of the- oh, of course! I told you you'd pay for crossing me. Curses, we've been bamboozled. Should've known you were behind this, Rosa. See what they say, revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. <laughs> Dang it, how are we ever gonna get out of here? We'll find a way. Let's think about this. Where do we start? Not like they just leave the gate unlocked. Would they? <laughs> oh man, they're so stupid. Wow. Cool. Harold. Yeah. You are not immune to soft boy charms. This episode's going a little long. That's okay. Harold winks at Cal. Cal's happy. Oh. Interesting. Headbutt him. I'm sure it won't damage your soft, baby-like skull. What are those things in a baby's skull? Fontanelles? The soft spot? Yeah. Nice. So the reason I walked right up to him is because in the game Chrono Trigger, there's a similar... Um, there's a similar sequence of... Oh. Hold on, I'm not done up there yet. Ah, oh, toilet ramen, perfect. In uh, Chrono Trigger, there is a similar sequence of es escaping a prison. Um, oop. Pardon me. However, in Chrono Trigger, if you uh, walk up behind someone and hit the gate won't budge, hit the action button. Oh well. <laughs> Just take to him, Marsha. If you hit the action button, you do a stealth takedown on them. Um, and Chrono just does like a regular animation. Uh, and then you kill them instantly and you skip the fight. I don't remember if you still get XP. I think you might. You fool. Now you've just made us angrier and stronger. -er. Although we won't have enough power to actually use it because you're going to die like... Yeah, there you go. So if I had stabbed with Omori instead. Oh wait, let's give one of these, huh? Yeah. Oh, it looks like the background's changed too. A special hell for you, my dear. Gra gra, sign, sweetheart. It's so cute. I love that her I love that she has a little eggplant. Yeah. It's like a proper dungeon now. This is not fruit punch. That's a bit gruesome. Cardboard boxes, for no other reason than to take up space. Nourishment. Cardboard boxes. A vanity, but the mirror makes you look unflattering. 
Oh, this is Captain Space Boy's room. Telescope covered in tape. Books, but the page is all glued shut. Of course. Because she wouldn't be calling us her dear. She had her dramatic breakup. Oh, well. Tag team. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty clean. I like that. Power hit. Won't budge. Twirl is okay. Ignores and reduces defense. That's great. Let's replace that. This is good. That's alright. It can stay... Stab him. Power hit. Right in the heart, in the little, you know, the little things up there. The little dewlaps on his head. What are those called? Leaves? Yeah. God, I'm so smart. Thank goodness. Wow! That's radical. Thank goodness I have this YouTube channel. So everyone can see how smart I am. Oh my god, I just got hit with an axe. That's just straight impolite, Marsha. I wonder why they're called Heralds and Marsha. Yeah. Oh no, what are we going to do? No one escapes the dungeon. It's in your cell, you ding-dongs. There's <laughs> a little flippy door in your cell, dog. Huzzah, after failures, I've almost made my escape. All I need to do now is find the exit. Gotta find the exit. Gotta find the exit. Mmm. I was hoping I would be able to get out of... Well, the episode, I guess. Hey, it's Mari. Mari, Mari, help us. We're stuck in the dungeon. Oh, no. Aw. Come out here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. I didn't expect it to be that easy. Oops. Pickles. Would you like to eat some? Sure. <laughs> Let's have a picnic. Hero, I have a question for you. Any chance in the world you have said yes to marrying sweetheart? What? Nah. You know I only have eyes for you, Mari. Aw, he's cute. Ew. He was right, Kel. Hero, that's not what I like about you at all. What, it's not? What is it? Can't tell you that, silly. It would ruin the magic. Okay, I don't really get it, but whatever you say. 
Mario, you don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. She's the worst. I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Wasn't she with Captain Space Boy, though? Hmm. Huh. Relationships like that are just shallow. Yeah, it looks like they kind of... Well, it was shallow on Sweetheart's part. Captain Space Boy got burned. Can't compare it to the real deal. Like what me and Omori have. Isn't that right, Omori? Omori? I wonder how deeply that translates into the real world with Sunny and Aubrey. Hey gang, seems like you're all stuck in a little pickles, so I snuck in some pickles. Yuck, I hate pickles. Can you sneak in some jam instead? Yo, Kel, what's up? You look like you've just grown a bit taller. Maybe one day it'll be taller than Hero. Alright, cool. Uh, well, that's the episode, everyone. Another 75-minute episode. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Omori. This game is getting uh, just so pleasant. Um, and yet, when the other shoe drops, it's awful. But hey, that's what we're here for. Uh, so yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Omori. Thank you guys for coming. See you next time. Bye-bye.